I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. I know that your support will be unfailingly given. God help me to make good my vow, and God bless all of you who are willing to share in it. We are all devastated by the news that we have just heard from Balmoral. The death of Her Majesty the Queen is a huge shock to the nation and to the world. Queen Elizabeth II was the rock on which modern Britain was built. Our country has grown and flourished under her reign. Britain is the great country it is today because of her. She ascended the throne just after the Second World War. She championed the development of the Commonwealth from a small group of seven countries to a family of 56 nations spanning every continent of the world. We are now a modern, thriving, dynamic nation. Through thick and thin, Queen Elizabeth II provided us with the stability and the strength that we needed. She was the very spirit of Great Britain, and that spirit will endure. She has been our longest ever reigning monarch. It's an extraordinary achievement to have presided with such dignity and grace for 70 years. Her, her life of service stretched beyond most of our living memories. In return, she was loved and admired by the people in the United Kingdom and all around the world. She was our queen for almost half of Canada's existence. And she had an obvious, deep, and abiding love and affection for Canadians. She served us all with strength and wisdom for 70 years. As we grew into the diverse, optimistic, responsible, ambitious and extraordinary country we are today. Canada is in mourning. She was one of my favorite people in the world, and I will miss her so. She was our queen for almost half of Canada's existence, and she had an obvious, deep, and abiding love and affection for Canadians.